All right, today we're gonna change the brakes on this uh, Schwinn electric bike. I ordered uh, these little bastards. I hope they work. Let's get into it. They're in there. First thing we're going to do is take out these two screws. This one and this one. I'm just going to drop it like that and see if I can get away with it without having to take the whole thing off. Might be able to rotate. But you've got two pads. One on each side. Alright. Let's see what happens. I've never done this. Let's see how it goes. Go like this. That's a magnet right there. And we're just gonna drop it in there like so, and it just kind of jumps right into place. That's good. All right, get this other one. Get this other one right here, out of here. See what happens. All right, wish me luck. Yeah, that looks pretty fucked. Let's try to tighten it back down and then we'll tighten our cable and uh, we'll see if it grabs. There's a little cotter pin right here too that goes in. Right over here. It's so fucking bright, dude. I can't see a goddamn thing. It goes in right there. Yep. Boom. And that helps hold the pads in. It's gonna go like that. Tire's locked up already. Just tightening that down with these new pads. All right, we're still spinning. Now we just gotta set this. Ooh, look at that. That motherfucker is gonna stop. Real quick. All right, so with this loose, we're gonna spin and we know we're just gonna kind of estimate right there. We don't need much. So we're just gonna tighten right where it sits. When you have a pair of hooves, things are harder than they should be. Oh. Alright, now, let's see, that's the front tire, so it should be this one. Definitely want to get that thing tight. We're going to spin. And, oh yeah, that's good. That's real nice. Front tire good. Now we're going to move over here. Looks like the same deal. It's on your left left side both brake assemblies are on the left side so there we go okay we're in Oh. Yeah, 
probably need like a, if you're a real bike person, you'd probably have a longer set of these, I would imagine. But if you're just a, uh, some guy fixing your kid's bike, <laughs> you might find yourself doing it like this. So we're gonna remove these two and this cotter pin right here. I'll get back to you on that. cotter pin goes through here so and we know it goes through goes through there and we know it goes through this so we know we just got to line up the pad to face the direction of the rotor and then the magnet luckily in this thing just slide it right in there look at that boom just seat it right there bring this guy back Get your screw and uh oh, you fucking bitch. I'm gonna put him back in. Tighten that guy down. You gotta make sure everything's pulled tight before before we do it. So we're gonna loosen this guy. Okay, 
right there. I'm going to turn the wheel and then set this right till it starts rubbing and then back it off a little bit. Just like a coffee grinder now. Then we're going to tighten it. Oh yeah, these things are money.